Thank you very much for staying with us. Now, Hip Life artist Wiser is to face prosecution in the coming days for showing his genitals on stage during a live performance over the weekend. Now, Wiser stand patrons at City FM's December to remember Arnold musical concert when he unzipped his pants and released his manhood on stage and wrapped it behind a female dancer. Now, he has since apologized for the act at the Accra International Conference Center over the weekend, but please say he will still be prosecuted for the misdemeanor. ASP Fiatenge is public relations officer of the Greater Accra Regional Police Command, and he joins, she joins us live now over the telephone. Madam, good morning. Many thanks for your time here on News Desk. Good morning. Right. So, uh, the first thing, obviously, I would like to ask is, uh, is to be arranged before court. Uh, do we know when exactly is to be arranged before court and the, the specific charges for which he's going to be uh, up against? Yes, uh, thank you very much and good morning and also good morning to your viewers. Sure. We all know of what our brother, that is Wasi, popularly known as Wasi, Eugene Ashi, what he did on that day, you have previously informed the, of, you know, the public. And uh, right from that incident, the police invited him. He came over. He's been assisting in police investigations. This morning, he's supposed to also report to the police. And uh, as soon as we are done with our investigations, I, I know that and, and I believe that we shall prosecute him for what he did, that growth in decency that he exhibited during his performance. So you speak of gross indecency. Now, uh for a crime like that or a misdemeanor like that, uh, usually, what, what, what are the processes? So he has been granted bail and everything, and he's supposed to, once the police is done with the investigation, he's supposed to be uh, prosecuted. Uh, what are the likely uh, timelines here? And uh, uh, what, what kind of term, jail term are we looking at, if even there's any such thing? All those ones as a preserve of, of the court. And that is not uh, for the police to decide. The level of gross indecency is all left for the court to decide on. What we found was one that amounts to crime. Anything that we see that is out or is a deviation from the social order or social expectation amounts to this kind of gross indecency. And uh, we have found, we have gotten our evidence, and uh, we, are, we are going to prosecute him accordingly. But as to the term or the fine or the kind of punishment that will be meted out to him, that is the preserve of the court, and uh, I do not have any jurisdiction over that. I see. Now, as we all would say, you know, to her is human. Well, he did make a mistake, but he has uh, accepted his responsibility, come out to apologize. Why, why do they need to drag this further? No, just imagine if anybody should also commit a crime and also come and say, I, I'm apologizing, and therefore the, 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 the public should forgive me. I don't think we'll be heading anywhere. What the person did or what he did, we find that out of the social norm and uh, is totally out of order, provided the person is in his right senses and all his faculties are working. What he did was out of the norm. And it is specifically tells us in our criminal and other offenses act to expose your private part in public as, as something that, in fact, that he has gone overboard and once the police have the jurisdiction of arrest, once we know who did that and the courts are there, it is for us to ensure that we all leave within certain periphery or certain expectations as far as our moral uh, rights are concerned. What, that immorality is something that cannot be accepted in our society. So at least we have found that what they did amounts to crime and we, we are prosecuting him. And when we go to the court, whatever the court decides, the, the court decides on, I believe it is something for all of us to learn from. If the court decides to leave him, fine, we have done our bit. But it is something we have to do to ensure that we all leave as, um, to the tenants of social norms and expectations. So the police is bent on taking him to court. When should we expect this thing to happen? Oh, we all know we are on holiday. Um, the courts are not sitting. So as soon as um, the, the court sits and we have enough evidence for prosecution, why not? We shall do so. And you did mention earlier that the police has enough evidence. So does that in any way suggest that uh, Wiser could possibly uh, be in court tomorrow? 
Um, if it's still under investigation, when we are done, immediately we have to we have to prosecute him because he's now on bail. So the moment we are done with everything, why not? Right. SB Afiatenge, many thanks for your time on News Desk this morning. And uh, ASP Afiatenge is the Public Relations Officer of the Greater Accra Regional Police Command. She joined us over the phone lines with uh, some particular thoughts on that particular issue. And uh, she was telling us that indeed, uh, that particular artist, that hip live artist, Waiza, who for some reason, well, uh, got a bit uh, overexcited and decided to show us a lot more prowess as regards his how wise he is, decided to uh, show his manhood to the public. But uh, we'll be coming to this story pretty shortly. We'll be coming back to it because we'll be speaking to uh, the artist himself or probably his manager, uh, as and when we do have him on the line. We will bring that particular interview to you. But away from that...